What's up puppies? Doggy here. And today I have something that was requested quite a lot in those messages I got last night. Uh, I put up a commentary mentioning the uh, fact that what I'm going to be posting on my channel is based upon what you guys want to see. And a good portion of you mentioned the fact that all I posted at this point is FFA. Uh, I have noticed that myself. Uh, the only game type I tend to play is FFA. Because in... COD, when you, when you play game types, if you play Domination, there's a big dependency on the fact that your teammates are going to be capped at flags, your teammates could get kills, and if you don't have the team support there, then the other players are just going to, you know, it's going to be like a 6v1, and it's not a good thing to have a 6v1 for 10 minutes straight. So, what I do play FFA a lot, but on the occasion, I do have an SD game, and that's why this one's going up today. Uh, but... On the note of people messaging me last night, I got a whole bunch of response about what you're be doing, and some of this stuff was definitely some important topics I'm going to bring up. Uh, first off, when I said Purebred 3 is going to be open lobby, that does not, it doesn't mean that it's going to be an open lobby 6v6 snipers game types. That's not at all what is meant by that. Uh, open lobby is when I, I host a game you guys message me and I invite you in the order that I'm messaged generally the game types we play are you know is pro sim and that's not 6v6 sniper pro sim is when you have two snipers max per team it's either a 5v5 or a 6v6 game type uh, it's half health no perks no dumb attachments and stuff uh, it's, a, it's a skill based game type it's nothing based on you know just six people sniping on a team and spinning in circles no scoping so I didn't want to give off the wrong impression for that uh, a lot of you messaged me saying I should be doing some work with Predator and Nate Shot on videos like Snipers Going Ham, and actually that is something Nate Shot message uh, mentioned to me, and I'm definitely interested in doing that. I'm going to be doing some game battles and other games with them just so we can get some gameplays together and do some dual and trip commentaries. Uh, trick shotting. <laughs> I got, I think, 128 messages last night, if I recall, as um, whether I should trick shot or not. And I'd say 95% of you said, doggy treats, don't trick shot. Oh and just real quick, I get owned right here. This guy, I mean, th yeah, don't, don't trick shot, then this guy trick shots me. But 95% uh, of you said that uh, doggy treats, don't trick shot. Uh, you said it's a fad, it's going to go away in the yeah, upcoming weeks, I mean, I uh, and I'm going to have to agree the fact that I'm not going to be trickshotting. Sorry to disappoint any of you who wanted that, it. but Everything it's like no problem. scoping. Uh, if you quick scope, you can hit 100 out of 100 shots if you have the skill, but with no scope, there's no determined way of how to do it. So, you know, if you can hit 10 out of 100, you're doing pretty good with no scoping. And I don't like that luck factor in the videos. Uh, I think if you're going to post something, it should be actual talent, not the fact that you got lucky. I mean, I figure that should make sense. Like, see, I can hit one, you know, two, three quick scopes. But if those are no scopes, if anyone can hit three no scopes like that in a row, then I want you to tell me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to say trick shotting is too much luck for me, and I'm just not going to be able to get into it. But anyway, this has been Doggy. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to have more coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned, oh I'll see you God, then. That was fucking good right there. I don't even I don't ever fanboy anybody, but that was fucking sick.